Public Ministry, Soul Winning Lessons, number 18. 18 subjects so far on the ideas, the ways, how to, on the public witness. And today, uh, a couple subjects. First one, Acts 18. The first one, if someone needs help, they need correction in the path of your witnesses. As you're going out with the gospel, you're going to meet saved people. You're going to meet lost people. You're going to meet people who need correcting. They're wrong. Religions. They're going to have what they've been taught is a means of salvation or doctrine. And quite frankly, it's going to be wrong. When... Many of the questions we will ask, some questions, it depends what the Holy Spirit leads us. But one of the questions that it's best asked is, if you were to die, how do you know you will go to heaven? And any answer that is not Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ, that's incorrect. We've already looked at that earlier. Uh, my church... My pastor, my baptism, I do this, I'm a good person. Those are means that needs to be corrected, and we dealt that earlier. And what I'm talking about now is correcting. You meet somebody, they're saved, they're out doing things for the Lord, but they don't have their doctrine, they don't have what they do is correct. So what we have in Acts 18.24 And a certain Jew named Apollos born at Alexandria an eloquent man okay, and mighty in scriptures came to Ephesus. So he's eloquent. Alexandria that's you know the very well known uh, library and mighty in the scriptures. And you're going to meet people. We're going to be, meet this classification as Apollos is, but this man was instructed in the way of the Lord. But you, what's wrong with this man? And being fervent in the spirit. Man, this list grows and grows and grows to excitement. He spanked and taught diligently the things of the Lord. You could want to meet somebody like this every day of your life three times. I like to meet somebody like this morning, noon, <laughs> at night. The guy's out there. He's eloquent. He, he's mighty in the scriptures. He's instructing people. He's fervent. He's teaching. Knowing only the baptism of John. So, on the assumption of Apollos, what is he doing? The Messiah is coming. Prepare. There's a man in the Jordan River. He's preparing the people. He's baptizing the people because the Messiah is going to make himself known. The Messiah has already come. The Messiah has already lived out his life. The Messiah has suffered and died upon the cross. The Messiah has been buried. The Messiah has risen from the grave. The Messiah has seated at the right hand of the Father. The disciples, the apostles of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, are out witnessing and telling people about the gospel and how to be saved. Apollos, mighty, eloquent, instructing, Fervent, spoke and taught. Had nothing on the ministry and the gospel and the finished work of Jesus Christ. He would be some way, somehow saying, hey, the Messiah is coming. You got, as a Jew, you got to get over there to the Jordan River. You got to get over to the, he doesn't even realize that John maybe has even died. Or... 
Apollos is preaching the message that John's preaching. Here comes the Messiah, prepare the kingdom. That's the tip of the iceberg. <coughs> there is nothing about the death, burial, <coughs> and the resurrection in the life of Jesus Christ. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. So he's going where Jews are. Because they're waiting for the Messiah. He's going to the right order. This guy is doing everything right. But his scriptures, mighty in his scriptures, what you would find in the King James Bible would be from Genesis to Malachi. He's got the Torah. He's got the Naveen. He's got the writings. But he doesn't have the Gospels. I don't mean that they're written. But I'm saying he has not heard the Gospels. He has not heard the testimony of Jesus Christ. He's still in the Old Testament. You may meet people like that. You may meet somebody who's freshly new it, to be saved. And I'm supposed to go, my mouth won't shut up. I need to speak about Jesus Christ, only knowing so much. That's what I was. First time I ever witnessed, I went, went up to the, I said, listen, you're going to hell. That's all I knew. And you need to be saved. Now, had that person, you know, okay, I don't know what I would have done. It wasn't okay, you know, never did get saved yet. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. So he knows his audience, he knows the scriptures, but he doesn't have the finish. And when Aquila and Priscilla, and these are wonderful people in the Old Testament, Old Testament, what am I saying? These are wonderful people in the, in the book of Acts that help Paul. They are helpers of Paul, they are helpers of the church, and they are mightily used by God, and they will have crowns. They will receive rewards. They will have gold, silver, and precious stones. It's a husband and wife working together. Man, you can get a husband and wife working together in the Lord, doing what the Lord. You got something. You can't even get most husbands to church. Never mind working with the Lord. So as Apollos is going out witnessing what he knows, Aquila and Priscilla are out witnessing what they know, and had heard, they hear Apollos the testimony. They witnessed Apollos. They took him onto them, took him under their arms, and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. Apollos, the Messiah has come. Apollos, the Messiah has lived out 33 and a half years. He was beaten. He was rejected by the Jews. He suffered and died. That's one third of the gospel. He was buried. That's two thirds of the gospel. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the third of three of the gospel. This is what a man must do to be saved. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to show you a little more. So. You have a man that's wrong. You have Christians that come up and willing to take the time and effort to help him. Sometimes you're, you're going to run a, across your Apollos and they're going to tell you to shut up, leave them alone. What do you think you're doing? You know, there are few and there are many. Many will go the broad way. At least it's instruction. Few will go through the gate of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Of the Christians that are saved, many will not do what the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Few that will. And when the people, as Apollos, many will tell you, get, get out of here. Leave me alone. Who do you think you are? How dare you, me, with my titles? And, and then there will be few that say, oh, okay, really, thank you. Where do I need help? And when he was disposed to pass through Achaia, the brethren wrote, extorting the disciples to receive him. 
who when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. For he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ. All right, so here he is. He's preaching the Messiah is coming. Uh, Powell's, yes, Aquila, come with us. And then have the lesson, have the teaching. Go see the disciples. Receive him, please, guys. And the 11 disciples that, apostles that lived and, and talked and had witness of Jesus spoke to Apollos and told him, I witness account. And then he goes out there and says, you know what? That Messiah that's, that I said was coming, yeah, he's come. And you rejected him. You cried, crucify him. He suffered and died on that cross. And they buried him. They put men outside that tomb because they were afraid that the disciples were going to steal the body. And three days and three nights later, the women that came to that tomb had an eyewitness of the angels. He's not here. He is risen. Now let me show you the scriptures. He took the scriptures of the coming Messiah and he took the scriptures to say, here's the scriptures to say, he's come. Still witnessing the Jews. And if you're going to witness the Jews, and God bless you. And if you're going to do it correctly, give me your name so I put you on my prayer list and maybe, uh, you know, support you if I can. But you've got to know the Old Testament. Because I tried with the New Testament, I, and the Jews not going to listen to you. you got to show them the Old Testament scriptures, and that's what Apollos would have. Genesis to Malachi, as found in our King James Bible. Now, that's not laid out in, in the Hebrews Bible. There's a whole different order. Hebrews Bible ends with Second Chronicles. Them going, told to go back. So you may find it along the way that you'll have to take somebody. Listen, there are people getting saved today. I, as one, will raise my hand. Do you want to believe Jesus Christ is your Savior? Okay, yeah, bow, bow my knees, receive Christ. Truly, I am saved. Where'd you go? It's like Philip and the Ethiopian. The Spirit took Philip away and the Ethiopian never saw him again. That's many people go out witnessing. They'll get someone saved and then they disappear and they don't train them up. I started from the, from the first thing going scriptures with scripture with a concordance. I still got that same concordance. And when the, when the preacher would preach, I would check the scriptures. I would write down the scripture. I would make sure that's exactly what he said to what he said, looking at other scriptures. And that's why the Lord called me. And there are several instances where I would go look at another passage and, okay. But I never had anybody say, okay, this is what you do. This is how you do it. You say, well, what about soul winning? All right. First night, I heard we ought to go soul winning. I forget, it was a Tuesday, Thursday night, something like that. I said, okay. I drove up to the church. The pastor said, what are you here for? The soul winning thing. I want to do it. Okay, fine. I'll take you. Let's go. And, if you, and you're listening to this. I don't care. We went knocking on the door. Supposedly somebody, I, I, I have an idea I remember, but I don't remember exactly who it was, but I have an idea. So we go in, hi, I'm, you know, and they knew each other. This is Stiley. He's still going, just started going to church. And we sat down and we listened to LPs. Uh, I can't even think of the name. Bruce Springsteen, something like that. We listened to hard rock. Oh, not hard rock. Rock. That was my first soul winning experience going knocking on doors. Let's listen to a record. And that preacher was known for doing that with visiting people. My own family. Not mentioning no names. That's wrong. I went and checked the scriptures. I had one time, I had someone, I was trick tracks. I was collecting them. I thought they were Christian collectibles, like baseball cards and football cards and stuff like that. And I was at the track rack one day and checking my list, seeing which ones I didn't have because they're all numbered. And I don't remember who this was. 
Maybe an angel. I don't know. Entertaining angel. The guy came up to me and says, you know, those are for passing out. I said, no, they're for collecting. No, Stylie. You're supposed to take some and go give them to people. My reaction was only if they don't have what I have. I mean, only if they... Wait, only if they have what I don't have and I can trade with them. And he sat me... I remember, I don't, you know, I don't even remember who that was. That's interesting. And he sat me down. He said, Stylie, you went out witnessing and he kind of chuckled like he says you are on fire he says these are about what you've already done you've already received christ as your savior and he showed me this was your life now is that for you again I, oh yeah i already did that so would that be for you and i picked up a track and said well yeah look i haven't done this and he's like all right this and the guy took the patience as Aquila and Priscilla done. And that guy, I don't know who that guy is, a woman, I don't even remember. But you realize what that guy done to me as Aquila and Priscilla? How many tracks have I gotten out? And I would say that was, that was like a month after I got saved. He saw that there was an air. I was saved. I was loving the Lord. I was trying to do things. And he saw that I was in error. And I could have said, get away from me. You don't know what you're talking about. I could have done all that. Thank God I didn't. Because if I can tell you what God has done with me for the track ministry. I, I come to, I'll tell you what it is. And I, I hope I'm not going on a rabbit trail here. But taking aside, look what Apollo's done. He's preaching and teaching with the scriptures, Jesus is Christ. Let's take that illustration with the tracks. I've had over time, I used to sell, I used to send out a book of stamps, 20 stamps, every month to people with the address out of a phone book. The whole family worked on it. I wrote the letters, one person did the envelopes, one, people, one person stamped the envelopes, and somebody put them in the mailbox. Everybody in the family had fire in that. They got one gospel track and a, and a gospel letter. There's no more phone books, you can't get the address is out of it. Okay. Leaving tracks uh, and window slots. As somebody told me one time, the window slot is open. That's called a mail slot. Slide the track in there. I enjoyed that. And someone told me, style A? What? Don't go through the whole parking lot. That's why security stops you. As you're going to the store you're going to, walk a kind of wavy way. And if you see a window, put it through. Windows closed. Just keep going through the store you're going to. Hey, thank you. Security hasn't bothered me doing that. And to come to the fact this today that we now as a family have a table with books and gospel tracts. And my wife is in charge of all the chick tracts. I may collect them. And it's funny to watch it because she's got a collection. She knows, but it's for other people. Now, I pray for the Lord. I'm praying for a church, the starter church down here. I am praying the Lord, Lord, listen, I got this ministry. I got that ministry. And my wife said, hey, do you realize what God's using you for this way? Wow, okay, good. So we go to a gas station every week. And we've got the women there demanding we give them different gospel tracts. And this is from somebody who said, you know, they're, they're not for collecting style. So many, 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 many years later, the Lord sends to me a woman who said, hey, I like those tracks. I keep them on my bureau. I love collecting them. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Give them the next step. Trying to give them the next step. The devil stopped trying to stop that, but we're trying to get the next step. We told him, hey, you need to give them out. And it's just remarkable. Because either Aquila or Priscilla, I don't remember, says, Stiley, this is what you're supposed to do. And that's proper. You may have somebody who's got perverted gospel tracts, modern Bibles, and they're out there, a dime a dozen, but stripping and handling. However the Lord leads. That's a possibility. So, do I want to go on? We got one event, 
You know, I'm not in a rush. Because you can get these good. There are Christians out there, uh, and more and more as the time goes, I don't know when you'll be listening to this. This is 2018 right now. I just went online the other day, looked at a few churches, their videos in this area, because I'm praying the Lord starts a church with us. Kind of got it already going. And the nonsense that's coming out of those churches. And there is something that's missing out of the churches today. It's a track rat. Now, an error that you may meet somebody on the road is going out witnessing and say, come to my church. That's an error. You find me one place where the disciples in the book of Acts or the Pauline epistles tells a lost man, come to church. You may have to take, hey, you know what? There's a ser series of videos by this man. It's all about public wit witnessing. It's all about soul winning. Man, he starts with the basics and he goes with, with, with uh, uh, the milk. And then he just goes and goes and goes. And these videos are great. And I, I, I give you all permission to get these videos out anyway, anyhow. They're not copyrighted. They're not. To be sold. They're free. They can help you grow in the Lord. You may not even know. Right now. But you know someone who's interesting as Apollo. And you're just watching it. Use this video. Give it out. But there will be times. You'll come across people. And they'll have to be taught. Better. Than what they've been taught. Or they'll have to be taught. Because they've never been taught yet. And God will bless you. And God will bless them again. The negative side of all these videos, 18 of them, or audio, however you're listening, there are many and few. Many are not going to listen. Few will. Those that listen, many are not going to do. <laughs> few will. Many you meet that need correction. And few are going to be like Apollo. But there will be times in our life that we will have to be Aquila or Priscilla. And in the ministry that God has given us, with my wife and myself and my daughter, we are Aquila and Priscilla to many. And the Lord blesses and helps. And it's rewarding. It's almost like raising a child again. Those first steps. That first mama. That first dada. And you look at that person the Lord is giving you. And when they progress and do good and get better and better. It's like wow. Thank you Lord. And the Lord can say well thank you. For putting yourself out. I can't find many people that will do that. They just won't. But you will. And if you apply yourself. And the, and the object of this lesson today. Is. So many may not be always going out there. And someone's going to get saved. I've already warned you about that. So many. Is not always they will get saved. I warned you about that. I'm saying it over and over. Because that's what churches are looking for. They're looking for notches on their belt. I'm hearing all the... I hear today, oh, we got eight saved. If it's over to number two, I doubt it. I, quit. I don't know. That's between God and them. But with the practices that churches are using today. But when we go out for the public ministry, it's not just for soul winning. That's why I, I, I call it the public ministry. Because you may meet somebody who's already saved and they've been left by the wayside. You may have to pick them up. Remember, it was the priest that saw that man beaten by the thieves on the side of the road and he walked the other way. Oh, 
can't touch him. I'm a freak. It was the Levite that also saw the same man and said, Ew, I got things to do. I got appointments at 2 o'clock. But it was the good Samaritan that came along and saw that man. And wow. Ooh, let me let me clean that. Oh, that looks bad. Let me here here's a little wine. Get, get a little nourishment in you. Here, let me help you get put you on my mule. Let me bring you to a clean place to get you more cleaned up. And the Lord may put those kind of people in our way. So let's get off the fact, oh, so many, so many, so many. Let's get the fact that it may grow, 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 growing. There are too many who have been sold one, but there few have been grown. You know, eventually, if you start a garden, and I know this, ask me, I'm an expert on this, expert of all experts. I started, I clear out the land, I, I, I plant the seeds, I put them in rows, tomatoes, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, yeah. And then summer comes. Whew, ah, I have to work that garden. Oh man, no, I got other things to do. I can't do the work today. Hey, it's just, it's going to rain, I'm not going to do it. And then by the time you come at the end of summer, you come back to that garden and it's been overpowdered by weeds. Because I didn't tend to it. I didn't take care of it. I didn't seek to it. I didn't make sure I maintained it. And you may find a tomato or a cucumber. And you may find that one person who no one maintained, no one helped, no one took care of, no one removed the world, no one removed the other stuff and to help him grow. You may find it. And God may be leading you. What you thought you were so winning is Apollo. He needs to be grown. He needs to be taught. And it doesn't say how long it took Aquila and Priscilla, but look at the results. Look at what happened when he said, okay, I want to learn. For he mildly convinced the Jews. And that publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ. That also equates to Aquila and Priscilla. They are charged for what he has done properly. And when we find someone and bring them up the right way in the Lord, man, look what they can, they can do more than what you have done. So let's get off the fact is that soul winning, soul winning, soul winning, win soul. Let's go out there Let's preach the gospel like we're supposed to do. Let's plant or water like Paul said we're to do. And there may be someone out there that God will put in your path. Go over there. And unlike Philip and Ethiopia, don't go over there and tell them about Jesus. He's already saved. Go over there. He needs your help. He needs love. He needs comfort. He needs to know the right way. And then you have to spend your time there. But it's rewarding. And it's God. And we'll pick up, uh, say we're going to have two lessons. I'm um, going to make it that one. It's like we have maybe have three more lessons left on this. These are free. Get them out. They need to be. They need to be taught. 